Well, these three women, very different women, have a very terrible, chauvinistic, horrible boss. And uh, they decide to sort of take matters into their own hands and to tie him up and, ho and make him a hostage and um, run the office the way they want to. And in a good way, like they make it lovely and pleasant and helpful and positive and it's, it's a pretty good uh, woman power story and also really fun. It's very fun. I mean, Dolly is so, she's jolly, you know? She is happy, she is smart, she is with it, but she comes in this hilariously fabulous package that you don't expect her to have all the heart and brain, but she does. So it's, it's a fun thing to play. It's nice to be nostalgic about the time and about the film that we, it's like such a classic. I grew up with this film. I loved it, all the, the fantasy scenes. When they, it's just, it's fun. It's a fun entertainment. And uh, then you have this, this new musical, which it's, it's really good. Dolly Parton has written some wonderful tunes. I can't believe she wrote this song for the male character who's so raw, awful to Dora Lee, but just his, from his point of view, and it's, it's so funny what the things are saying. And it came from Dolly. Dolly thought it up about what this guy would be saying about it, her character, basically. It's just that you stay on the line Every minute all the time I've got to do it to make you mine When the Gateway Playhouse called me up and asked me to do it, I thought, well, don't they know how long in the tooth I am? I'm way too old to play one of those three lead characters. And then I found out they didn't want me for one of the three leads. So then there's this moment where you go, am I insulted? No, no. What part <laughs> do they want me to play? Oh, the snitch in the office, the one that's in love with the boss, who spies on all the other girls, even in the bathroom she spies on them? That's a good part. Yeah, I'll take it. I've done music my whole life, but people don't remember because I'm not a recording artist. I've done my nightclub act in Las Vegas and San Francisco and Lake Geneva. I've sung on every variety show that was ever on television. So I sing all the time, and yet you have to remind people that they saw you on Carol Burnett. They saw you on the Perry Como Christmas show. They saw you on the Donnie and Marie show. They forget. But I've sung my whole career, so this is nothing new for me at all. Working nine to five and put away I'm actually playing two roles in the show, which is really kind of cool. I'm playing Margaret the Drunk, but right now the I'm... The Office Drunk. The Office Drunk. Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't know I had an official title. Um, <laughs> the Office at the, Drunk. At the top of the show, I do this aerobics. Like, you remember how popular aerobics were in the late 70s, early 80s? So I do this aerobics thing first. But then I turn into The Office Drunk, and then I become Hart's wife, Missy. And Missy is very, very well-heeled. She's fantastic. Are you out of your mind? I can't take off four weeks for packing around some stuff. Judy is, uh, I would say, the one that ha takes the, the longest journey through the show. She has never worked before, she's getting a divorce, um, and then she really finds herself um, at the, through the end of the show. So it's a lot of fun every night to play Judy. No laughing, no jokes, and mind the dress I love that uh, people know what this story is. It was a very uh, famous movie that I think everybody still remembers if you're of a certain age. I'm, I'm, a, I'm of that age. Um, and it's great to, to have a little piece of pop culture that, that people can really hold on to and, and remember and, and have fun with again. I 
have the uh, 11 o'clock number, as we say in, in the theater, and it is absolutely the most fun I think I've ever had anywhere in any show, uh, and possibly um, might always be the pinnacle. It's that good uh, and that much fun for me.